So, so tuseme ni watu wa gani hao ambao wamepotea kulingana na wewe? Ah, sisi kwamba wamepotea lakini wamekuwa contradicted. Kama kina nani? Kama pose anajaribu kidogo kukani kama ako bado gospel bado anafanya secular sasa inakuwa kidogo inachanganya pia. Pose na nani mwingine? Kama ndio tu show biz inaonyesha usio bahati pale. <laughs> Is vipi wadau? Welcome once again to Plug TV. Na leo tuko na kijana Varubaru anayejulikana kama Ferro. Huyu ni msanii ambaye anatesa huku kwenye uh, sekta ya burudani ya hapa Kenya. Na tungependa tuzungumze naye tusikie ako na yapi ya kusema. Is vipi? Nashukuru bro, niaje? Aniko poa. Sasa ningetaka utujue tuambie kwanza who is Ferro? Okay, uh, kwa kifupi ni nasema ni gospel artist maana kazi ambazo unazifanya ni kazi zinahusiana sana na maneno ya Mungu na Ferul pia ni kijana mdogo ambaye ameanza tu na nashukuru kwa nafasi hii pia kwa Plug TV yeah i think uh, kwa kifupi naweza sema hayo tu hebu niulize umesema Ferul ni kijana mdogo ambaye ameanza what do you mean like um um uh, umri kwenye umri ama kiaje well i'm not that young in terms of age because ya kimziki kikweli pia nimekauia kauia kabla nifike hii place nimekuwa sababu inachukua muda kidogo kukoma and to be somebody to where i am right now i think uh, i would say i'm an upcoming artist you get yeah and uh, kwa muda kidogo labda god akifungua milango then we will see mambo itakuwa sawa tu Umesema wewe ni msanii wa nyimbo za injili. Ah uh, umekuwa ukiona vile nyimbo za injili hapa Kenya kuna vile zimehusika kwenye scandal tu. Sijui wewe maoni yako ni gani. Naweza sema kitu cha kwanza labda injili ni ngumu kidogo maana iko na challenges zake kama kawa na inahitaji moyo sana. It needs a lot of heart as a person and as a ministry. Sababu kila macho i will say every eye is on you looking at whatever you're doing so you are you are a direct mirror of your salvation au sio kwa hivyo Kenya hapa kidogo pia ni challenges kama kawaida wasanii pia wamekuwa wanapitia hiyo na naweza sema tu labda wengi wao wameteguka lakini kwa imani niko sure labda wako straight pia na Mungu wao sababu ni kitu personal so i will judge them from whatever they show out out there but i would love to also say that uh, <coughs> labda kama if they straight with god then it is personal so tukiongea kuhusu wasanii wa nyimbo za injili which gospel artist mwenye ana inspire hapa Kenya uh, ikifika ni inspiration kidogo tunakosa because inspiration is not just that he, mtu ambaye unapenda sababu there's a difference between kuwa inspired and loving someone well napenda kazi za watu kidogo hapa Kenya lakini for inspiration i wouldn't say that uh, kuna mtu anani inspire sababu kusema inspiration ni kwamba you want to be like somebody you understand you want to follow the footstep you are a follower au sio wewe ni disciple so i don't have a person who I would disciple to hapa nchini Kenya sababu there is a lot that uh, in a portrayed with them and uh, ni kama utakuwa unajipaka matope pia wakati unaji associate na wao you understand ngoja nataka kusema hapa Kenya kuna msanii wa nyimbo za injili ambao unakubali tu kabisa na na wakubali wengi i uh, mean really love i mean i'm in love with whatever they're doing because art is major art ni <coughs> kitu bold sana wao wanafanya a lot of good things out there and uh, vile tu nimesema inspiration is a whole different thing lakini kupenda kazi za watu mimi nimependa sana ila sijapata mtu kabisa ambaye anaweza sema huyu i want to be like this person you understand kakangu tuelewane tu kidogo so if you want to do a collab with a, any kenyan gospel artist au kuna yule ambaye unaweza sema unataka unaweza ta kufanya collab naye wapo kaza wakaza lakini ila sio wa hili kizazi wa hii kizazi yenye tuko sahi mana the, the 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 generation we are right now wengi wao ni mashobis and stuff ila kuna hao ambao wamekomaa kidogo katika mziki kwa mfano naweza sema mtu kama Gloria Muliro vile naweza penda sana nikapata nafasi kufanya kazi na yeye uh, mtu kama Kambua watu ambao wamekomaa kidogo kimziki na wanaelewa 
ministry ni nini kabisa na kutofautisha ministry na maisha yao ya kijamii kabisa so ila katika kizazi changu sasa hii watu ambao wako kwenye trending ama watu ambao wanafanya kazi vizuri sana wana make it pale media social media and stuff sidhani kama kuna mtu pale anaweza sema kwamba ati mimi kabisa ningefanya kazi na huyu itakuwa of help kwangu au sio tuseme mwanamuziki kama guardian angel hivi guardian angel namkubali sana guardian yuko sawa kabisa <coughs> Uh, na na appreciate sana kazi yake pia ambayo anafanya ku, ku, kujaribu kuleta new faces katika katika mziki na nikapata nafasi pia kufanya naye kazi itakuwa poa sana na fresh sana yeah man i think uh, naweza sema hivyo pia na msanii kama ringtone na poko chairman <laughs> uh, chairman chairman ah uh, ndugu wetu pia kwa sawa lakini kwa neema ya Mungu ikitokea sawa tu. <laughs> Nao wacha tuachane na wasanii wa wa nyimbo za injili. Nao hao wasanii wengine ambao wako kwenye sekta burudani. For example, wasanii kama Bahati, wasanii kama kina Willie Can you work with any secular artist at the moment? Uh, hapana. Sidhani kama naweza fanya kazi na mtu from the other side. Si kwamba ati nachagua ama ati nakaza ila ni vizuri to establish as a brand you need to be sure of the street fortness you want to show to your fans sasa kwa sasa mimi nataka ni di establish kama mwanamuziki wa injili so hivyo basi sitaki kuji contradict kabisa maana ukienda kuiga ile dunia nyingine unako contradict tumeona wengi wakishapotea maana ukishajaribu tu kitoka mlango hivi kidogo tu hata kama umejaribu tu kubisha most of uh, kitu imekuwa ki happen unapotea kabisa na unapotea kutokana na fan base sababu unakuwa contradicted maana unavurutwa kutoka pande zote mbili na pande hiyo nyingine ni strong sana for now so, so tuseme ni wasana wa gani hao ambao wamepotea kulingana na wewe ah sisi kwamba wamepotea lakini wamekuwa contradicted kama kina nani kama pose anajaribu kidogo kukani kama ako bado gospel bado anafanya secular sasa inakuwa kidogo inachanganya pia pose na nani mwingine kabla tu show busy naonyesha usio bahati pale <laughs> ulikuwa na mwingine alikuwa anajiita uh, nimemsahau kidogo lakini alikuwa gospel artist akaruka kabisa akasema yeye hey, hafanyi gospel tena anafanya secular so right now nikikuuliza msanii uh, kama wewe ni sasa ukikutana na wasanii wenzako ambao wanafanya burudani hapa Kenya What advice would you give them? I will tell them that uh, kitu chochote ambacho unafanya jamii inaangalia. Na kama venye wanavyosema msanii ni kiyo cha jamii. Sasa wewe kama msanii ina ina, ina determined sana vile ambavyo watu wanakuona ndivyo watakuweka. So ni bora ukuwe kiyo ambacho ni kiyo kizuri kwa watu ambao watakuangalia kwa miaka ijayo na miaka ya sasa. Ungekutana na msanii ambaye anateza sana hapa Kenya kama Bahati Ungemwambia nini leo? Ningemwambia ana watoto na ana wazazi pia. Na wote hao wanamuangalia. Sasa angependa sana ajue kwamba si kwa sasa tu ambazo pesa natengenezwa sasa hii. Na pia kuna jamii ambayo inamtegemea baadaye. Sasa labda ningemwambia aangalie vitu hivyo viwili. Haswa. Na tukiongea kuhusu mziki wako, kuna project yote ambayo me release at the moment niko na kazi mpe kupale YouTube at uh, Ferrol Music YouTube channel. Uh, ni kazi ambayo nimeachilia tu kama siku tatu zimeisha sasa hii. Na feedback napata ni mzuri sana. Nashukuru pia kwa mafans na ningependa pia wakati labda utapata kupata nafasi ukaweza kusubscribe pale hivyo. Check out na uache comment sababu na jibu comment zenu zote kuhakikisha kwamba kila mtu anapata nafasi ya kuzungumza na mimi directly. Yes. So kwa, watu wanaweza kupataje kwenye mitandao ya kijamii? Niko at uh, Ferul Mziki pale Instagram, Ferul Mziki pale YouTube, Ferul Mziki any social media platform. Na pia pale kwenye IG kuna direct line yangu, unaweza kuzungumza na mimi, ukapiga simu, uka make bookings na itakuwa fresh tu. That was it from us uh, Plug TV na leo tulikuwa na mwanamuziki anayejulikana kama Ferul. Tukutane siku nyingine. Bye bye.